That's a bad miss. <laughs> well, young Mark Deacon will be very sad to have missed that blue, but hopefully nowhere near as sad as he was about six months ago. Yes, I, I think the whole of snooker has been very much behind Mark in the terrible battle that he's had with his own personal demons. Yes, I'm sure Mark wouldn't mind it being known that he has, of course, sadly, tried to top himself twice. But that's many fewer times than he's tried to get to the final of a ranking tournament. And he hasn't managed that either. <laughs> oh, well, a very lucky chance for Mark Deacon there. But he comes to the table with what I can only describe as a face like a slap dance. I mean, have you ever seen that man smile, Ted? Only in his sleep, Peter. Only in his sleep. <laughs> Viewers may want a bit of background on that, Ted, because I believe it was you who foiled one of Mark's, how shall we put it, bids for oblivion, wasn't it? I, I have that honour. It was during the Welsh Open, and as luck would have it, Mark had the hotel room next to mine, and, and something had been up all week, because I could hear him late at night singing the snooker words to Lady in Red. Yeah, you see, that is a bad sign. I should probably point out to viewers that there are secret snooker words to the pop song Lady in Red, which all of us in snooker know. Uh, there are the special secret snooker words to Lady in Red that we all know. The viewers are probably interested to know what the secret special snooker words to Lady in Red are. Ah. But unfortunately we're all sworn to secrecy. So anyway, on this particular night, Mark's hotel room door was open and I could hear water running. Tell us again what you did, Ted. Well, I went in there and I made him sick it all up. But he was inconsolable. He kept going on about his queuing, which, which is far from perfect, but I didn't say that. You do, right. And I remember I, I just held him for hours until he stopped sobbing and, and managed slowly to drift off to sleep. That was very kind of you, Ted, especially with your back. It, it was murder, Peter. <laughs> But at least it wasn't suicide. <laughs> and after all that, just watch him bugger up this frame. Oh, what a cracking pot! I thought that was a bad miss. Do you even know the rules? <laughs> and still, not so much a flicker of joy on Mark Deacon's jowly death mask of a face. I mean, he must be pleased. Uh, well, Peter, I, I know you won't mind me saying, and, and Mark certainly won't, that you've been a tremendous support to Mark over the last couple of years, especially that other time that he took 200 pills. I picked up the phone, Ted. That's all I did. I was there. I happened to be there. Mark rang me. Was it a call for help? In a way, it was, yes. What did he say? He said, help. Help me, Peter. My safety play is all to crap. I can't go on. And, and you were straight in the car and round there, weren't you, Peter? Just as soon as I got the swing ball in the boot, Ted, yes. Now, for those of us who don't know the story, explain the significance of the swing ball. Well, it was just a crazy notion I had that it would help to relax him. I, I got him outside in the garden, playing swing ball in the darkness, tears streaming down his face, and I said, Mark, be honest, is this not a little bit better than being dead? <laughs> What did he say to that, Peter? He said, yes, a little bit. <laughs> and we played swing ball all through that beautiful night until the sun came up and things felt a little better. Well, Mark, this is for you. seen you looking so shiny as you did tonight I've never seen you bathe so tight You were amazing I've never seen so many players wonder if the long pot is on Looking for a little cannon A cut as thin as a thong And I have never seen such a clearance such a clearance in all the parks, in every way. No more safety play. <laughs> Table of Reds is dancing with me. Cush to cush, and nothing is wrong. This big pink is on. But where's the cue ball gone? 
And I hardly know To play with stun or sign Never to forget My table of reds Ladies and gentlemen, Monsieur Christopher So oblong as you did tonight. I've never seen your angle so right. You were a table. Never seen so many players tremble when they contemplate you. Choking till their tips turn blue. Shaping for a screw. And I will never need another. I could reach that awkward green. If you said yes, I won't need the rest. <laughs> Table of Reds is dancing with me. Cush to cush, and nothing is wrong. This big pink is on, but where's the cue ball gone? And I hardly know To play with stun or sign Never to forget This shot to nothing life Never to forget My table of reds <laughs> Table of reds